Okay, we are discussing about um sorry. So guys, uh, we are actually discussing about the Nigerian, uh, you know, past and present leader, um, yeah. Jeff. So where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you calling from? Where, where? Uh, from Melbourne. Melbourne. Okay. Well, I'm from in Melbourne, so that's very good. So I just said he's coming, and um, we have other people coming. So we are just talking about, you know, um. I don't know how interested you are, but Nigerian past and present leaders, you know? I, I would ask people to, you know, share light on, you know, if there's any Nigerian leader they would like to bring back to govern the country. And everybody was totally, you know, some people say we don't want any of them. And somebody said um, he wants Yeradua, that Yeradua could have done a lot of things, but death did not allow Yeradua to do those things. So. And someone again says about uh, says about uh, Jonathan, good luck Jonathan. They said Jonathan could have done well, but Jonathan did well. Ah, oh, Master Jeff is here. Uh, good day, brother. <laughs> so, so yeah, I was just welcome, Master Jeff. So, guys, so somebody That's said, um, Mister Emmett Jessica. Yeah. Oh, so, so somebody yeah, says yeah. about about Jonathan that Jonathan did well, but what happened is that uh, Jonathan allowed corruption to take over his tenure. So do you have anything to share or you know, shine light on this, please? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I think uh, uh, Nigeria politics is. I don't think. The question I should be asking you is why do you think of you know, bringing uh, the old leaders who have been there for years to come back and gov govern the country, rather rule the country? I think the strategist Nigeria right now is to actually groom a new candidate uh, with a fresh idea. Mm. I don't think Nigeria need the old idea kind of system any longer and with the current situation right now with technologies um, people around the world go into right now i think we need someone with a very uh, kind of visionary to be able to move the country forward i don't think nigeria need yara dua and uh, did that we can't we cannot just keep living backward all the time mm -hmm. and that's my opinion. I think, my opinion, I don't think I'm yet to be selecting, uh, we should bring back old football out for it to, to, to replace a new team that, you no, know, we need to go back and, have you ever seen, they say, oh, let's go back and be the old footy player, yeah. let's, no, we don't do that. They have to recruit a new candidate, new, 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 new grid. I think that's the best way to do right now. Nigeria have a lot of talented people around the world, okay? So we have to find a solution. Then I go back home. It can even be you yourself. It can be yourself. And mm. I remember when Jeff and uh, so we were, could, uh, what's his name, Jeff? That guy, what's his name? So worry. So worry. When I told So worry, So worry made the biggest mistake ever. So sorry to say this platform. No, you are right. You are right. Everybody ever. knows that. No, it's good. Yeah. Well, so worry would have started as a governor. He would have run as a governor. The what he have done, he would have created the beautiful city in his state, in his state first. Mm. I like I like people don't understand politics. Right? I've been a, I'm a politician here as well. You have to start from the grassroots. Okay, you start from your local government to state, for example, to federal, for example, right? So that guy would have started with this. I told Jeff, I think Jeff is there. Now. I say Jeff, I told Ephel as well. I say my opinion, the guy would have just gone straight as a governor. Don't worry mm. about whoever here. He said, once you win that governorship, you now design the city, bring infrastructure, and everything's going well. Now, so wow, governor mm. that state, state around. Now, you have a ticket now to go to the federal level, federal seat. All right. Why I say that is 
Nigeria is a very difficult society as a country, right? Don't get me wrong. Because yeah. we have kind of divisive based on ethnic city. The Igbo, yeah. the Yorubas, the Aousas, and this and that. It's difficult for us to bridge that gap of ethnicity. And that's the biggest problem, for example. Once we overcome that, before we can move forward. Number, the last word I will say, we also lack what we call unity. We not unify, we not unify at all. Yeah. We don't have that unification to move us forward. We we are divided people. Yeah. I know you can say you're my brother, you're my brother, but it's we're not. We're not. Because you know, that's what that's just my opinion. So I don't think if I have to select any of the past leader, I will say zero. I will select any of them. They're gone, their time is over, they should not be coming back again to rule Nigeria. I don't think that's the right way. We should find a credible candidate who can push us forward to the correct 21st century. And that's my opinion. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yeah. Thank, 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 thank you very much, Mr. Emmett. Um, welcome to the show. And if you have other um, time um, to discuss any issue that is vital in moving Nigeria forward, we would like you to be featured on the program every now and then. And we are looking for credible people who have a basic good ideas and opinion who can express their view without fear and favor in order for us to move as a team to, to fix Nigeria. Nigeria is a very, very complex, um, it's a very, very complex society, like you rightly said. And the idea is um, being able to bring everybody together in one unity, one uniform. Mm -hmm. um, Nigeria does not need an old school. Mm -hmm. Technologically, what they have in the system now, majority of them, the school. They, uh, I was going to one minute. Um, let's just welcome Cynthia. Cynthia, welcome. Welcome for joining us. Huh? Um, this is I know Mr. Jeff already, and you know, uh, Mr. Emmett. So, Mr. Emmett. Mr. Emmett. Oh, okay. Hello, Mr. Emmett. You want to flip your, you want to flip your, your camera so that it can look uniform. Flip it. No, the other way around. Well, I wish we're around. That is it. Yeah. It's good. Uh, all right. Maybe you want to leave it like that because the edges yeah. are black. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, like I, like uh, Emmett Radley said, we don't need old team to come and replace the new team. Nigeria needs consistency and they need the new breed. And this new breed is what is very difficult for us to find at the moment because the youth we have in Nigeria at the moment are not thinking right. They are, they are all, they are, they are being sidelined and also they are always supporters. They are always supporting team. They only clap for those that is um, embezzling the, 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 the whole fabric of the nation. So I would rather say that it is right for us to start setting for a new, a new team that we enable Nigeria to move. Because the, the, the beauty about all these things is that a good Nigeria will see a good Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. where I see it. So I will leave the table to turn to Cynthia if you have anything to add to it. Cynthia, what we are saying here is that uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Emmanuel said we, we should choose for the past president if at all is any for us to bring forward. But Emmett has answered the questions saying we don't need old schools to come and replace the new breed. So we want to see your take on this before we can leave the table for Emmett to continue. Yeah, I suppose the motion, we don't need old, old people. The, their tenure have passed. I think we need new generation, new ideas, you know, people who can implement something new, people who can bring out their young youth's idea, not the other uh, old past uh, presidents. Many of them have come to uh, more than one tenor, and which is very bad. They should allow the younger ones, I think, at least let's see what they can do, you know. So for me, I don't want to bring any past president back. 
Yeah, you know, you know why I, 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 I talk about the old president, like if you're going for a you know, global view, like Malaysia, they have Mahadim, you know, Mahadim has been here before. They, they, they find it necessary because they decide to break it back, you know. And so I think, you know, uh, and before he came back, I think, actually. I think, I think, I think I'll stop you there. There's, uh, there's what we call, uh, there's what we call, that's what we call adversary, adversary board, okay? Let me give an example, all right? I'll give an example in us. I'll use the Australia as an example. Okay. Today, we have Scott Morris, right? Scott Morris, yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah. Scott Morris in also sometimes he may consult John Howard. Or yes. Okay? yes. Yes, yes, yes. So that, that does not mean they're not part of this. They're still part of the system. Even a few days ago, Kevin Rudd was speaking for the Labour Party as well. They're still yeah. part of the system. But what I'm saying is they use a fresh a fresh face to be able to move forward because the reason i'm saying that is is when you have an idea i have an idea right now you have an idea other person have an idea right once you have the collective idea you brainstorm it and be able to use successfully right now let's go back to economic wise right now i remember when i was a little kid right uh malaysia start to import Nigeria uh, palm, palm trees. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, that's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. But today, today, Malaysia is the world leading palm, 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 as a palm oil export around the globe, right? Yeah. But where's Nigeria? They lost their way, right? No, okay. Yes, now, another thing again, I'll put together. Many years ago, Dubai was a desert. Today, Dubai now becoming world class right now, okay? That's right. Now, how can you imagine a Nigeria politician now takes your your resources, money, your fund, okay, your taxpayer money, whatever it is, right? Go to Dubai, buy an investment, come back home, man. Just look at this, this situation now, there, right? Whether we can be able to have infrastructure in Nigeria, for example, you can you can design Calabar, okay? for Taiwan at holiday destination, right? Now, those are cool ideas. Now, a few days ago, the Minister of Tourism uh, in Australia just measured that last year to this year, Australia spent uh, it had a $80 billion over offshore, right? Yes, now, yes. why spend that money locally in Australia? You see that creative idea, that, that, um, that motion? Now, we create, so who... What I'm trying to say now is we need we need to find some solution in Nigeria whereby to move the country forward, we have to have a very great idea. All right. Nigeria, the infrastructure there is dead, right? Yeah, yes, sir, that's the yeah. Yeah. Infrastructure yeah. is dead. But you have a minister of uh, uh, aviation, where's the airport? Okay. <laughs> you have a minister of agriculture, where is it? Now the question yeah. right now, Nigeria don't have that big type. Um, big title, mm -hmm. labor just for liberty's sake for defrauding the country. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, I'll stop here. Is those people already have experience? We can also appoint there to be adversary. We just go there to seek advice from them. That we have the person elected have to make that decision based on the advice. Nothing stop there. Can still be part of the board. They can be um, the, the council member of executive, they can give some kind of small, small job they, they'll be doing so that we can get information from them. It's not, you can't just rule them out because they have great experience. We yes. use their experience to move the country forward. That's what I mean by that. But they should not be staying because they, they kind of, okay, it's, we don't need recycle recycle memory anymore. Their, their brain is already recycled. They recycle the same over and over and over and over and over and over. It doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It does not make any sense. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any sense. That, that's my opinion again. So we need some fresh ideology. People that have a great idea want to move Nigeria forward. All right. And that is it. Okay. It's somebody say, oh, it's Buhari. It's Buhari. Buhari is not a problem with Nigeria, right? The problem of Nigeria as an individual, yourself must stop. Because like what the like what the Scott Monument say, 
Australia is for everybody. You have to play your role. You have to play your role. You have to play your role. So that is it, all right? If you don't play your role, then we can't move forward. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Emmett. Um, thank you. You have a very great vision. And uh, as, as he's, like he said, he's a politician. He knows the, 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 blood, the red blood says that Nigeria is missing. The way we see Nigeria from overseas is quite different while you are in there. The people, the crop of people that are in Nigeria today and the people that are voted them in and the people they are voted in, they are the same. I mean, let's take a just for example. When we were growing up, we have tap water. It was running. Sometimes the tap will burst. We will call them, we will run down within, within one hour, five hours. They will already know that the tap have busted on the way. They will come and fix it back. Today, every house, is, nearly every house have a borehole. By the side of this borehole is a sewage, pit toilet. And everybody complaining of typhoid fever. I mean, you go to the toilet here, you tap the water from the other corner. And this water, they are drinking fresh from the ground. And they are not even boiling it. You hear somebody sick because why? Everybody do whatever they want to do because they have the majority of the houses have somebody overseas. They go and eat whatever they want to eat. They call brother I'm sick. But they forget the fact that there's no amount of brother is going to pay to solve the problem for you without you not creating stopping the problem by yourself. It's just the same thing like Nigerian politics. You see the people clapping for them. Are the same people the problem? You vote for somebody to come and represent you. You are not going back to come and ask him his manifestos. Why are we? Why do you want to come and rule? Where is your manifesto? What are you going to put on board in hundred days in the office? If you cannot create a full step for hundred days, how do you think this person is going to be there for four years and be able to create something? When it rains, it looks like we are in Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. You start blaming the past government. We will keep this is the, past government. the present government will not blame himself. He will blame you one and the other. Some people are still blaming Mubasa of 1979. People still blame Buhari 1975. People are still blaming Olo uh, What is it called? Gowon. It is Gowon's problem. It is uh, Uber. It is Utebi. But what about the people that are sitting that right there now? What is their take? How are they going to stand there and blame somebody instead of them to use the time in their hands to fix a little bit of what he can fix? They will do a blame game, blame game, blame game. His eight years will complete, he will go. Another one will come. Instead of him to start from where the other one stop, he will drive all the contractor away, cancel all the projects, and make all those projects abandon projects. And he will start creating a new one. And that new one he created is not going to finish it. The next one is coming to stop it. So we need to brainstorm, like um, Emmett said. We start talking about this. People are people are watching us. People are listening. At the time we get offline today, maybe we'll have 500 or 600 people who is watching us online, somewhere else around the world. People need to start talking about these things in order for us to be able to move our country forward. Because if we are not talking about it, no one at home is going to act on it. So, so Mr. Jeff, now, like, you know, we have had these leaders, all the past leaders we've had has been male. Do you think it's time for us to give the female a chance and let the men take back seats? And um, uh, the, the woman so far has not been given um, opportunity to, to shine. The one has come, either snake is stealing money from their bank account, or monkey is moving money to somewhere else. In Nigeria politics, the people says women are the most dangerous people you can ever find in the office. People start lying them, use them to embezzle money. Those are where they see monkey is stealing money, snake is swallowing money. That's our elephant is taking money from first bank. Those are the people. But in the other way around, any woman today put her put his hand up, I will rightly support the person. And let's see, maybe if it's in the forefront that the old eyes are watching the person, maybe he will be able to do something about it. But that, that at the moment, um, 
You see that lady that went with Nigerian petroleum money, whatever? And now he's not a minister, minister in Dominic Republic of Haiti. He got a citizen somewhere over there now. Wow. So they made him a minister somewhere. Wow. So, so since, yeah. you can imagine because the husband was a military general. Mm. He has to play here and there, playing here and there. In the English government, he's not going to allow anybody to be extradited from England where you know they have billions in their bank. If you look at back, far back, Maru, Maru Duque, mm. when he ran to England, Abata was going to even kidnap him and bring him to Nigeria to, to try him. Mm. But they could not take that guy out. When the civil government come in, they let him come home. Mm. So, so sit here. Yeah. So sit here, do you think it's right time for Nigeria to have a female president? What do you think? For Nigeria to have a female president? What do you think? <laughs> Well, to me, if that is possible, if it will ever be possible, I think uh, they should give the female a chance and see. Since the male have been ruling for all ages, you know, we well, didn't see any changes. You know, if they if there will be a way or possibility that they will give female a chance, let's see on their own idea and see if something new will come out from them. But you know, it is not about politics. It's all about Godfathers and so. Even if woman is there, you will see some other people manipulating her, and so on. Before you know it, corruption. She will join the other people. So, but I think it's also a good idea if it could ever happen. Let's see the changes. I remember then when um, um, in Anambra State, that lady, that, uh, Dora, and uh, uh, not Dora. I think Etiaba. Somebody during the time of Mbadi Nuju, she was the governor. Yeah, so I think she brought some changes before she was there. If that could happen in Nigeria presidency, I think it would be a good idea, also. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Betty, what do you think? Yes, I'm sure. What do you think? Such a blind idea. No, I think first and foremost, I'll, I'll go this way. Uh, it's possible because things are changing rapidly at the moment. If you look at New, if you look at New Zealand, uh, yes. many years ago here in Australia, Julie Gillard uh, uh, toppled Kevin Rudd to become a uh, first prime minister in Australia uh, in the UK. Uh, I think in uh, Liberia, not long ago, a female president was there in Liberia, but I don't see the reason why it cannot happen in Nigeria. But the only my concern. Um, the finance, the finance minister in Nigeria also the finance minister of petroleum. I can't remember. Um, yeah, that I think that lady actually minister of petroleum. So that actually, uh, there's a lot of corruption allegations, something like that as well. So the Nigeria situation right now, the men cannot even go clean themselves up right now. So talk about the women, and again. Most of the men too in Nigeria actually shine for the women because the women actually push them. Sorry to say this word, the women in Nigeria actually push the men to a limit of trying to make sure uh, they, they, they go to the extent of buying an expensive car to entice the women in Nigeria. So it's, it's an incredible situation because, and I, I don't know, but I'm just feeling sometimes because. Our lady very expensive. Uh, their hair and this and that and this and that. So they put the men to a certain level, whereby the men go outside, uh, outside the line or outside the bus. And I don't know, but it's possible. But it's a long way to go. And uh, it's possible. But it's a long way to go because first of all, we need to address between the southern east or south east east or the northern part of Nigeria. Because it's kind of rotating, I think they rotated the presidency uh, seat in Nigeria. So until a female uh, candidate with, with, within the party, which is the two major party, uh, receives such endorsement, uh, I don't think it's something, politics is not something you can jump straight up. People, in Australia, you have to join the party for a certain period. The party have to nominate you. So when the party nominate you, they have to vote and this go 
that that's the process in Nigeria as well. So we have to join the party, the party have to endorse you with the, what we call pre selection. So once you go down to pre selection, it's okay. But do you think any Nigeria female uh, politician uh, will receive such endorsement for, them, for any major party? That's the question. So it's not something I can do here. But again, we talk about politics here. Okay. So we can be say something here and here in, in Australia, in America, but if you're on the ground, not possible. In Australia, the same thing here. Now we have the council elections coming around in, 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 in Victoria. Now, is any, any Nigerian female say, well, I want to run for the council election? Probably no. Some say yes. So that is how it works. So when you go to Nigeria too, so I have to run for, for that position. There's no hand pick any money politics. You have to fight for it. So you have to lobby yourself, got it party support to be able to have such tickets. So it's a long way for the Nigerian female, but it's doable. You know, I, I I kind of look around like you said, I mean look at Germany, the female did very well. She did well. Look at New Zealand. Actually, the female prime minister is rated as one of the best prime ministers they ever have in New Zealand. Jill Gillian, although she has a lot of problem here, but she still tried. And I think if we can have the Minister of Petroleum, we can have the Minister of Finance. Uh, we just talk about the Minister of Petroleum, which she gets herself involved in, um, in bribing. But what of the finance minister? She was the backbone of Jonathan regime. And during Jonathan regime, economy was okay. Talk about Dora, the Nadat chief. Dora did very well. So if we, you know, it's all about men. If we can actually, you know, give them that room, you know, create the atmosphere for them to be able to run, I think female, you know, female, they would be better. Because, you know, we men, we have done a lot of damage to our next generations, which is very hard. It's time that you give female, I know when females are in power, they act differently. But when they are side, is quite different. When you give them power, female acts very different. So it's time for us to, you know, it's time for men to step back. Past election, past election, a couple of people tried to run election last past one, but you know, it didn't work. So we're hoping to see if women can have a chance to, to run. I think Mr. Nets is having problem with his camera. Yeah, I think, so I think if there's, there's the problem, then I was just, just say something now, then we go to another topic and see what's going on. Yeah, like uh, I met said, um, it, 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 it's, it's doable, but the, they, they first of all have to front up front them themselves in a in a in a manner where people can recover. So far, so good. The, the women that have tried in Nigerian politics. Have not been able to perform. Um, people says um, uh, we allowed the finance minister to perform, but uh, he performed and presided by a government that was so was so corrupt that they almost want to sell people's kitchen. So <laughs> they, they just dip money everywhere. At the end of the day, they, they, they said Nigeria economy was one of the best economy in Africa. But when there's nothing to write home about it, our, our, our currency was floated, everything is floated. And still today, Nigeria cannot manufacture a spoke. So even with the common expensive, we import uh, two feet from Germany. So we're still importing uh, Hennessy from America when we have a Google in Sample. So we that, cannot. That's why. That's why. That's why we we thinking at the moment. We are thinking of uh, trying to convert uh, uh, have some manufacturing plant to Google so not too far away. So probably we have to do something different because That's the only it. thing the only thing I've said to the only thing I've said to most Nigeria or African men so far, and especially within the period of this uh, Black Lives Matter. Okay, and and I realize that. This are also 